Again, everyone, community members in Decatur continue to call for justice 12 days after a man was killed in an officer involved shooting. Investigators say 39 year old Stephen Perkins was shot and killed after he pointed a gun at police when a tow truck driver called them for help while he was trying to repossess Perkins truck. The tow truck driver said Perkins flashed a gun at him. WFO 48's Claudia Papenhorst joins us live from Decatur City Hall. Claudia, we have heard from Perkins' neighbor several times now. He wants justice for Perkins, and he wants his house repaired. Well, Justin Shepard lives next door to where Steve Perkins was shot and killed. Shepard says he wants the officers who shot Perkins to be held accountable. He also wants city leaders to be held accountable for what happened to his home. Shepard says bullet holes riddled his house the night that Perkins was shot. Now he's calling on city leaders to fix the issue. Shepard says seven different bullets struck his home and several others ricocheted into it. He says one bullet landed just a few feet from his head while he was laying in bed, but no one from the city ever came to his home to assess the damage or offer to repair the damage. He even has the bullets from that night still in his possession. He took his concern straight to city leaders last Monday and again at last night's city council work session. He says Mayor Tab Bowling referred him to their legal department to file a claim, but Shepard says his frustration comes from city leaders not taking the first steps to make things right. Instead of you telling your people to reach out on your behalf to try to make things right, you're having me call somebody trying to, to beg for help when it should be the city begging for my forgiveness for putting my life at risk. Now, Shepard says someone from the city has yet to visit his home and assess the damage. Mayor Tab Bowling told me today that he did refer him to their legal department and the city is working on making things right. Reporting live in Decatur, Claudia Peppenhorst, 48 on your side.